It started out life as a Little Tykes Rubbermaid looking bike trailer. Kind of yellow, red. Uh, then it fades to like a purple and pinkish color. Uh, my daughter was outgrowing it while she was still with me. Uh, now that she's at her mother's, she's definitely outgrowing it. Way too big for the thing anymore. So repurpose an item. Don't just throw it away. I'll show you what it's going to do. Throw in a couple rocks and hold it in place. Hopefully it's been in frame. The weight of it on there is already holding it on. Nice and solid. Got it sitting level. Now just gotta take a hung and strap it down on it.
keeping in mind this is meant for walking this across town or potentially even pulling it with a bike if I can rig up a uh, setup to do so with. And I've already got something in mind for that. So you'll have your heavier gear piled and tied onto this base, and then your lighter gear inside the canoe and then tarp it over. So let me get some perspective on this area for you. This is my, my testing ground. Oh, yeah, that might help, eh? Get some rocks out from under the wheels. See the construction, these wheels come off with a simple slip pin. These arms are only held in place by slip pins here and here. I had to shorten these arms, which are the arch support for the canopy on the old trailer setup. Probably tighten the straps and everything, but I mean, this it's solid, it's on there. And then this here is bolted here, so I'll have to bring my specific tools just to undo these. And those, if I if it doesn't store the way I'm thinking it might, and we'll deal with that when that happens. These here, this bar is just slip fit in here, but the pressure of the canoe sitting on it holds it so solid it's not going anywhere. Not for bicycle or walking speeds. And this whole platform, get underneath there. Hang on. This whole platform. U bolted in place. The bolt there, the wood block spacer. It says zero cost build. Repurposing components. So I'm going to try and do the next part of the video. And those are not aluminum bars, by the way. These are steel. Strong enough for this structure. Even with a bit of gear in it. I can't wait to actually try this out. I'm going to get some funny looks, but. You know what, you can laugh at me while I'm pushing this across the city, town, whatever. But you're going home to eat potato chips and sit on your couch watching TV. Right, Paul? Yeah. I'll be out there canoeing, paddling, having fun. Crazy Ontario weather. It's getting foggy. What's well out there, folks?
less than five minutes from being on top of the dolly to in the canoe. Let's go frickin' paddling. What's stopping you? Come on. If somebody like me, with my lack of budget, can build something like that, buy something like that, all for under... Well, I'll be hungry this month, but it was under about most of my disability. But now I can get out on the river when I want to, without sacrifice of anybody else's time but my own. Hope you enjoyed my little building of the cart, or dismantling. Goes back together just as easy as you've seen it came apart. I kept it simple. Slip pins instead of bolts in every corner. Goes back together just like you've seen it. And then you can even use the base as uh, the base for a mast if you wanted to. I'm still working on that. Give me time. There might be a video. And just to show you guys, I already know how much gear it takes for me to fit in this canoe. Not much. It does not take much room up at all. And if you really wanted to save space, you could take a bungee, link these two together, hang them across the front of the bow. Look like a Viking ship kind of deal. But everything else, all the bags pack right in on top of it. If anything, it might help stabilize it a little bit. The wagon doesn't weigh much at all. So I'm going to put everything back, lock the canoe back up, and uh, go relax for the afternoon.